across the city of Dallas. I've seen a lot. Many neighbors have long talked about perceptions of the haves and the have nots and the north south divide. I've been here on this street for about 68 years. That's been the case for longtime West Dallas residents like Dewan Moffitt and Rayella Boyd. If you drive around our neighborhood, you can tell that some things haven't been uh, done in a long time. Neighbors in West Dallas's primarily black and Hispanic homestead community for more than six decades. Residents here told me the areas fought the city for everything from better streets and sidewalks, affordable housing to environmental justice issues, among other things. We need where we can be on the same page as North Dallas, Garland, or Richardson, or Cedar Hill. A racial equity plan is something some Dallas city leaders have been pushing to adopt for more than a year. A citywide strategy designed to level the playing field and one that would address disparities that have negatively and historically impacted lower income neighborhoods and communities of color. Today we have an opportunity to take the first step to reestablish trust with communities of color. The motion passes. Dallas City Council voted on its racial equity plan during a meeting that became controversial at times on Wednesday. After a record vote of its 15 members, the only person voting against approving the racial equity plan was North Dallas Councilwoman Kara Mendelson. Most of the items that are talked about in this plan are actually basic city functions that we should be um, already providing. Some community members also spoke out, saying they'd like to see more inclusion of the city's Spanish-speaking residents if equity is truly the city's goal. It's a lot of talk. Back in the Homestead neighborhood, Moffitt and Boyd say they'll remain optimistic, especially if the plan means positive change. In Dallas, I'm Damon Fernandez.